What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 14 Arsenal career mode. So guys, let's get straight and right into it. In today's episode we have two matches against Chelsea, funnily enough, the first of which is an away match against Chelsea and then later on in the episode we have a FA Cup final against Chelsea. Now... <sighs> Obviously, if you watched the last episode, I'm still fucking disappointed about it. We ended up losing the semi-finals of the Champions League to FC uh, Bayern Munich. We ended up winning 3-1 on aggregate in the first leg at the Emirates, but then we ended up losing 2-0 at uh, the Allianz Arena, simply because they kept the, key, the clean sheet. They progressed to the semi-finals against Galatasaray. But uh, it was basically due to Wayne Rooney. He scored three goals over the two legs. And it was a fucking another big Man United shit on us. Um, as a Manchester United supporter, I was very happy to see him adapt at Manchester United. But obviously, I'm for Arsenal in this career mode. And unfortunately, that was not the case. We ended up losing the semis. So uh, that is disappointing. And uh, I, I guess if he looked in the bottom right, I might as well get on with it. We've won the Barclays Premier League. It is literally impossible for Chelsea to beat us here. They currently are second with 78 points. And we're currently on 87 points. If they do win this match and they do progress, uh, they do get the three points, they'll get to 81. And we're still fucking miles, miles clear of them. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can win the FA Cup in the final, uh, in the final episode. So I forgot to mention as well. This is the final episode of the FIFA 14 Arsenal career mode. This is it, guys. But we do have one more episode. This is technically not the last, as I always do in my career modes. I do do a final episode to recap the squad report and basically show how the other leagues around the world shaped up. Because it'll be very interesting to see where Bayern Munich do end up in the La Liga. Uh, sorry, the Bundesliga and then Real Madrid and Barcelona in the La Liga. But uh, you're most welcome to suggest on this video career mode you'd like to see. We'd like to see Season 2 of the Arsenal career mode. Season 2 of the Liverpool career mode. Or maybe we could go back to Dortmund uh, for our But We do end up conceding 1-1. Uh, it was Oscar's fantastic shot at Chesney. Very bad uh, goalkeeping he's been. Um, I'm still very bitter against <laughs> losing to Bayern. But uh, Eden has their cutting back inside. And there was no way he was going to miss from there, Chesney. He hasn't even gone up in stats. He's an average sort of goalkeeper, but Eden has had no chance. But guys, haven't we seen this so many fucking times? Karim Benzema making a fantastic run, and we lob it forward to bring it back to 2-2. So I guess we drew points there against Chelsea as a little bit of a highlight. But we did end up drawing 2-2, and I'm hoping we can beat them in the FA Cup. We got to the semis in the Champions League. We end up drawing that. And uh, if Galatasaray beat... Bayern Munich, that would be very interesting to see. I did want to see Shakhtar there, but we've won the Barclays Premier League. We drew against this. We we, we got to the semis of the FA Cup final, and if we can win, so we got the semis of the Champions League. If we can get, if we can win the FA Cup final, that would be absolutely fantastic. But uh, Kieran Gibbs there is not really too happy with his position at the club. It would be interesting to see where. Where he goes, but we're in the final of the FA Cup. Cesc Fabregas is the top goal scorer of that. And it's going to be very interesting to see who is the top goal scorer of the Barclays Premier League. It's most likely Karim Benzema. He's probably going to get man of the match. But it's going to be interesting to see how uh, Cesc goes. But uh, guys, just to recap, obviously, obviously... Actually, no, I don't need to recap it. I was going to say, I forgot, I forgot that the Manchester City match... Uh, we end up losing 2-1 was in, not last, but the previous episode. I was going to talk about that. But, uh, nevertheless, um, I can read out the table while we have the, uh, the cinematics of the FA Cup. So, we're current, we've won the Barclays Premier League. We're on 87 points. Chelsea is currently second on 78, but this all would be 79 and 88 by the time it's updated. Liverpool currently third on 76 points. Manchester City are 4th with 74 points. Manchester United are 5th with 76 points. Tottenham Hotspur are 6th with 61 points. And Swansea City are 7th. Swansea City are in the top 7, which is surprising. Uh, 
But guys, the top goal scorers of the Barclays Premier League at the moment, this was before this match. It was Karen Benzema on 17 goals before the last match. Sammy Eto on, I do believe that's 16 goals. And Cesc Fabregas on 16. So, one matter was fourth on 14. And Holtby for Fulham, who was a, he's on loan from Tottenham Hotspur, which is quite interesting. Look, Karen Benzema found so much space there, but the shot was very, very wide. Karen Benzema there. Look at that fantastic tackle past El Equator. And look at the pace on the Frenchman. He does find Cahill. Unfortunately, he does get denied by Mark Schwartz, which did gift him two goals in the last. Ramsey nearly scores an absolute fantastic goal. I really wish I played him up front, but obviously I have mentioned the quality of attacking mids we have. Maybe we might sell Santi if we do do season two. Um, because he is getting a little bit old, and we probably could get a uh, we could get a big payday from him. But Chelsea do start off the the scoring. Willian there with a it was very poor defending from my behalf. I would have expected a shot from the free kick spot, but it was a pass to Willian, and it did prove um, rewarding. Tony Cruz hunting for the ball there, trying to pick up a goal, but Mark Schwartz, the Australian goalkeeper, manages to deny him. And I still don't know why they're playing Mark Schwartz. They've got Courtois on loan. I'm not too sure where Peter Cech is, but still. Um, Mark Schwartz, he's, he's still playing solid. Cesc Fabregas running ragged around the Chelsea defense, trying to get some sort of creative opportunity. And Tony Cruz pushing up forward from that center defensive mid roll. He's there again. He's found Mario Fernandez running down the wing. Spectacular player from Spartak Moscow. He, he, he's been playing solid this season. Ben Teke off the bench, but Sammy, uh, uh, the defender, did clear it. Um, I forgot to mention, yeah, Mario Fernandez has been playing absolutely spectacular this season. And it, obviously, I don't show highlights of his tackle, but he played very, very well for me. But it was not to be, guys. We drew first in the Barclays Premier League against Chelsea, 2 2. And then on the day in the FA Cup, we end up losing. Very, very disappointing. I guess you can hear in my tone of voice. We we did so well in this career mode. We've won the Barclays Premier League. You can't take that from us. Winning a, a Premier League title is absolutely fantastic. And the Champions League is a prestigious award. But coming out of the semifinals, that nobody expected us to beat Juventus in the round of 16. They didn't even think we would get out of the group. We had a fantastic group. We have Paris Saint-Germain. We have PSG and Galatasaray in that group. Galatasaray, we managed to beat them in the group. They're in the final at the moment. So, think of that. It's mental. We did lose the FA Cup, but we did win the Buckley's Premier League. But I guess the FA Cup's only token stuff. But it really would have sweetened this se season. And, yeah, it's, it's disappointing. We did work well for the boys, and I really wanted them to... I wanted to see them lift a trophy that wasn't the, that wasn't the Buckley's Premier League. But... We have won the title. You can't take that away from us. And we're coming to the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you watched all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video to support my channel and the ending of this series, guys. And we do have one more video. We have the squad report and the player suggestion general consensus video coming up very shortly. So I thank you very much for watching. If you watched all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video. And make sure to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks a lot, guys. Goodbye.